Windows capture just didn't want to work. Wait! Right on time. Huh? For the last train, it's not that crowded here. I might be able to find a seat today. Hold shift to walk faster. Oh no, I forgot to feed my cat this morning. Time to play games all day and night. Hey, it's me. For real? How did she react? She said no, of course. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. I always have this cozy feeling about riding the last train. The city at night is so beautiful. Hey, what happened to your car? You keep going home by train lately. Um, I sold it. What? Why? So I can go home with you every day. driver home. Must stay awake. Butter, milk, eggs. What else do I need to buy? Even though I'm home so late, my grandkids are always waiting for me before they go to bed. So have you, have you been? You don't want to know. so tired. Why do I have to rush anyways? It's not like anyone at home cares. There's nothing to do either. I shouldn't think about it too much. Yeah, I shouldn't. What should I do? What should I do? Relax, relax, relax. I should relax. Take a deep breath. Okay. I'm just locked up. There's nothing to worry about. I just need to... What the hell? Why is the train moving? What's happening? Ugh. Relax, baby. Relax. I mean, if a cat was here... I assume this is a pretty safe place, right? Let's not overthink things. I should be able to find the driver here. Hmm, driver? Is that what you call someone who controls the train? Are they driving the train? Wait, focus, BB. Focus! It's me! She shuffles like I do, too. Oh, that's... Everybody's ghost! What is this? What are these people? Are they- are they what I think they are? Wait, does it mean I- I have died? That's- this- It doesn't feel as bad as I thought it would be. I mean- it didn't hurt. Or did I just forget about the pain? Anyway. 
if this is really the afterlife, I can consider myself lucky. I didn't feel pain. It cost me nothing. And I've been considering it for a while anyways. You've won the jackpot, Kiki. Wait. If I really died, Mom would be sad. Oh no. I don't want that. And if, and if, and if I died inside the train, then the cleaning guy would need to handle my dead body. Oh no, he will have a bad day because of me. Then, then, then whoever sat next to me on the train, who would find the entire experience traumatic. Someone died next to them. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. What should I do? No, no, I guess there's nothing I can do about it. Huh? That lady looks like someone who works here. I bet she knows where the train is heading. Please, your turn will. I mean, oh, not this again. Another. Li
How long have I been, oh my god, how long have I been reading and have been on mute? Oh, I'm not gonna be able to use this game through. Maybe you're right, but you'll have to realize I'm missing a lot. From the stories people told me here, it seems like life is something worth living. It's hard, but it's full of wonder. At least that's what some of the older folks have told me. I'll never know. I'll never know the ending to the story about the seven dwarves because dad didn't get the chance to finish reading it. I'll never know how steak tastes. I can only smell and see them. 
I don't have my teeth yet, you see. I'll never know what school is like. Though I've learned so much only by laying down in the hospital bed. There are so many things I'll never experience. But I guess that's alright. How, how can you be so content? What is content? What is it? Well, it's a feeling of peace, I guess. You have such a peaceful mind for someone who just died so young. I am dead, yes. Which means there's nothing I could do. Why should I think about it? Yeah, that's right. Miss, you don't have to compare yourself to me, you know. I know so little. That's why I don't really think things too much. You're not me. You know more. You have been through more things too. So please just think and go at your own pace. Yes, you're right. I won't be able, as content as you. But I can try. Even if I fail, that's alright. I can try again. While eating steak and watching as many adaptations of Snow White. Now you're just trying to make me jealous, miss. <laughs> I'm sorry. Couldn't resist. That's alright. At least I can see you laugh. Apparently, one can still experience something new, even after death. Anyways, I want to talk to more people here. It's the only way for me to learn more about the world anyway. So goodbye, miss. Take care, kid. Welcome, lady. You talk. Of course. I'm an elf. Although everyone can communicate with each other here. So it's not a surprise. Why are you here, Mr. Owl? What happened? I'm here because it's my time to be here. Whoa, you're wise. I'm an owl. Yes. I guess you know what happened to you and where you're going right now. I do. I did say I'm an owl, right? I don't really get what you mean. But I guess the stories are true. The owl is one of the wisest creatures out there. Not all of us, but pretty much. Care to share some of the wisdom? Sorry, guys, my dog is barking. Wisdom with me? I'm wise, yes. But the answers to your question, I can't. Your wisdom is something you'll find out for yourself. Not sure I can do that. You can. And all you have to do is in order to survive. Oh gosh, thank you for your wisdom, Mr. Owl. It's not like I need more pressure in my life. That's not wisdom. That's just a fact. And you'll be able to handle it. That's also a fact. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Owl. The pleasure was mine. Anyway, you should explore this place a bit more, lady. Are you kicking me out? Yes. Ouch! Okay, okay. I was planning to talk to others anyways. I'm sure you'll learn a lot on this train. It was nice talking to you. The same goes for me, Mr. Owl. I'm finally free from those humans. But I kind of miss them. A bit. You should be more honest with your feelings, Cat. What are you talking about? You love them, right? Well, I love them enough. You shouldn't put too much love on someone, you know. You can only do that for yourself. Of course that's what a cat would think. Huh? As if there were other ways to think. Now, will you please let me rest? At least I can sleep peacefully on this train. There's been... It's been years! A wolf! I hope I can finally meet my human again. You didn't live with your other humans? At your home? I only have one human. And our home is the whole city. Our roof is the sky. They were beautiful. But it got cold sometimes. Oh. Your human... Did they go away before you? Yes. I didn't know what happened. But suddenly, he just didn't move. I'm sorry to hear that. You've been alone since then? Yes. But other humans were kind to me. Sometimes they gave me food. Some even allowed me to sleep under their roof. But not inside. Hmm. It seems like you lived in a pretty kind neighborhood. Not everyone was kind to me. Some were pretty mean. But I'm sure they had their own reasons. Dog? Yes? Nothing. I'm sure your human is waiting for you. Really? I believe so. Woof! I can't wait to see my human. <laughs> the animals are getting to me too much! They said the curiosity kills the cat. Then why am I here? What happened to you? I was curious. Didn't you hear me just now? I, I did. I'm sorry. It's okay. Curiosity really takes you to places you don't expect, huh? Indeed. Meow. 
Where am I? Neo? Oh my. Kitty cat, are you by yourself? Yes. Do you know where my Mimo is? Or where I am I? I don't have the answer to both. I am sorry. But you're going somewhere fun. I assure you that. Really? I'm sad I can't meet my Mimo. But I also can't wait to play at my new home. You'll have fun, kitten. Woof, where are they taking me? My master must be worried. Do you remember where you were before you got here? Yes, I was at home with my family. My human family, that is. What happened there? I don't know. All I remember was they were crying and I was in pain. But seeing them cry hurt me even more. Guys, I'm gonna cry. So I tried to cheer them up, but I didn't have the energy. I tried to use all the energies I had left to bark and suddenly I'm here. They must be worried sick. I don't think so. Wolf, why? Do you think they don't love me anymore? Of course not. They cried for you. They loved you. But I'm sure they know that you're in a better place now. Or at least on the way to a better place. But there's no place other than home. With my humans. Oh dog. You love them a lot, huh? What do you mean? Is there anything beyond loving one's family? There's probably is, but not for you. Anyways, you don't have to worry, okay? You're going to a better place, and you can wait for your humans in peace there. They're coming too? Yes, maybe not soon, but yeah, they're coming for you. Woof, woof, woof! I will wait however long it takes for my humans. Woof! These animals are gonna fuck me up, guys. I'm gonna cry. What is this place? It feels like a forest inside a train. Just when I thought this place couldn't get any weirder. sorry. You're sorry. Sure. Anyway, I just want to say hi to the only living thing on board. So yeah, hi. Hello. Um, what should I call you? Call? Oh, you mean name? Call me whatever you would like. Our kind never needed names anyways. Alright then. Can I call you Tiny? Seriously, human? Out of all the creative names you can give me, you chose such an offensive name to describe my size? Oh my, oh my. I'm sorry. Whatever. You can call me Tiny. Really? Thank you, Tiny. Ugh, bet you call your pets generic tame too. Like Kitty or something. Huh? What did you just say? Nothing. So what's your name? Me? My name is Vivi. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, yeah. So you lost? Hmm, not really. I mean, yes, I was lost. But at least they said they can take me home. Now I'm just walking around while killing time. Whoa, girl. Don't talk about killing things on this train. Oh my. That was a slip of the tongue. Anyway, how's the ride so far? Well, it's been very eye-opening. Deep down, I still believe I might be a dream. Nah, it's not. It's real. Oh well. Either way is fine with me. Yeah, you just gotta enjoy the ride. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. I won't hold you much longer. You should use your time well here. Talk to everyone, maybe. And be nice to the plants once you return. Will do. Okay, guys, I am... Oh, there's so many animals. Psst. Bro, it's 
seems like that girl is staring at us. Hush, don't be too loud. She might hear us. But they don't understand our language. Um, I can hear and understand you just fine. Whoa, is she talking to us? No way. Humans don't even notice our existence until they are hungry. If she noticed us, that means she's going to eat us soon. Sorry again. I'm not trying to eat you or anything. She's human. She must be lying. Just pretend we don't hear whatever she says. Maybe she'll ignore us too. All right, all right. You don't want me around. I'm leaving. Bro, she said she's leaving. But why is she still here? I don't know, bro. Are you avoiding me? Oh, you're talking to me? Of course. Why are you so surprised? It's not every day somebody wanted to talk to me. Why is that? I'm just a normal tree with nothing to talk about. Nothing? I could talk about photosynthesis, considering that I've been doing it for my whole life. Other than that, even speaking with you now it gives me anxiety. Same, tree. I wanted to say that you should be more confident with you in your life, but then I remembered that I'm no longer alive. Yeah. And then more reason to feel anxious, right? You're right. Don't think about it too much. I also still struggle with that from time to time. I guess no matter what the circumstances, everyone has something in common. That's right. <laughs> Being in the middle of a food chain sucks. Hey, Mr. Deer. Did a predator catch you? A human? Pardon me? Yes, you were right. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Still sucks, but it's okay. That tiger also has a family to feed. It's the law of nature. You don't hold a grudge? I'd do the same if I was a tiger. And I heard there won't be any bloodshed at the place we're going. How do you know? I'm a deer. We know. If I wanted to ask more, but it seems like it's not my place to ask. You'll know one day, when your time has come. And if you deserve the knowledge, you should keep that in mind. I will. Oh, what a beautiful flower. Thank you. Even though this is not my prettiest form. Oh, you can grow to be more beautiful? Yes. But humans are impatient. Somebody plucked me from my root before I got the chance to grow. I'm sorry to hear that. Are you that kind of human lady? The ones that used my kind to find love and breed more humans on Earth? No. Oh my, I would never think of doing that. But other humans would. Yeah. They, we would. Why do your people love to do that? I, I don't know the answer to that. I'm sorry. Don't say sorry all the time. I was just asking a question, you know. But still, you're here because of us. True. But just so you know, it's not like we flowers don't like to be appreciated. We love to be considered as a beautiful gift. But we prefer if humans just didn't plug us out before our time. I'll keep that in mind. I can't change everyone. Or undo what's been done. But at least I can change myself and those around me. So you can be more mindful of your kind. That sounds good. Besides, how do you expect to find love if you can't even wait for a flower to fully bloom? That's a good point. Sis, why is she staring at us? Psst, don't say anything. Pretend we can't talk and she'll just walk away. Okay. Whoa, a giraffe? Why are you doing on a train from the city? Pretty sure there's no wild giraffe around here. That's because I'm not wild. I lived in a zoo nearby. Oh, did something happen at the zoo? No. I was just sick. That's all. I'm sorry to hear that. You don't have to be. It was a sweet release. I didn't mind it at all. How does it feel to live in a zoo? That's a difficult question to answer. I've been living in the zoo since I was born, so I don't really have any comparison. Okay. I don't want to disturb you any longer, then. Enjoy the rest of your ride, Mr. Giraffe. Thank you, human. an exotic plant like me? Of course. You don't seem so surprised to see that I'm surprised. Girl, I'm exotic. This happens all the time. Well, I mean, it's not every day. 
people can see a plant like you around here. How did you end up in the city, by the way? Collection, excuse me. I'm a part of a collection. Owned by someone who loves gardening a bit too much. He has his own botanical garden for plants like me. Well, considering the area, I'm not surprised the rich person with such a particular hobby lives around here. Yep, even then, I'm still considered as one of his most prized possessions, you know? If you don't mind me asking, why are you here? No special reason. My time has come. That's all. different definitions for that. For me, simply being taken care of was enough. I'm glad you got to experience a good life. Oh, trust me, I feel the same. Human? What do you want with me? I'm sorry. Wait, you're different. You're not like them. Them? The other humans I have dealt with when I was alive. What makes you think so? You don't make me feel threatened. Oh. Did you live with bad people? Bad would be an understatement. They killed my parents. Took their tusks. Then took me to where you people live. To be an entertainment. To take your people around the same path. Every single day. Oh my. I'm so sorry to hear that. I thought they're not allowed to do that in the zoo. Zoo? That's the place where he would watch other animals, right? Yes. Oh, I wish I lived there. But no, I had to live somewhere else. Every day was hell. Finally reached my limit, and I'm glad it's all over now. I'm so, so, so sorry, elephant. Well, you don't have to be. What you do, what you have to do is not be like them, not support them, and that's enough for us. If you can do more, that would mean a lot for my kind. I'm not sure how I can help, but I can try. thinking of that human. It's the least I can do. That's more than enough. When I got into this train, I was glad that I don't need to endure it any longer. I can finally meet my parents again, for our time back then was short. But now, I feel more than just glad. I hope all the good things in life for you. Thanks. But I have to earn those wishes. It's the thought that counts. I'd love to see you try from above. Wish me luck. Ha <laughs> ha ho, a lovely soul. Not too shiny, but lively nonetheless. I must be the luckiest tree to be graced with a lovely soul, even after mine left the world. You talk too, but in a very different way. What's so different about the way I talk, young girl? You sound real? Like somehow I'm not as surprised to hear you talk. Compared to the others' passengers here. Ha ha ho! I'll take that as a compliment then. So, what brings you here, young one? Oh, I was just wandering around, waiting for the train to reach its destination, and then they'll take me home. I wasn't asking about that, dear. What brings you to this train, eh? I don't know. I was just going to home and then by the last train, and I overslept. When I woke up, I was already on board this train. Oh dear, you can't just randomly get onto this train. This is a special train for someone, unlike you. Yeah, I know. It's weird that I suddenly got here. It's not that weird, child. There's a way for the living to 
referring to this ride to the train, huh? What are you talking about? That person. They have to be connected. Or got too close. With death. They have to make a connection with death themselves. Are you telling me that I wasn't a coincidence? There's no coincidences if we are talking about death. There is only fate. You are destined to ride this train. Because you, in one way or another, have touched death. It's alright if you don't want to talk about it. The fact that you are here, with your life intact, it means death is giving you a chance. A chance? Why? Who knows? Maybe they love you. Or maybe they think you still have a purpose to fulfill. In the land of the living. Haha, <laughs> being loved by death, that's really something. It is really something. But also nothing at the same time. Death loves everyone. How else do you explain their devotion to a difficult job of maintaining the life and death of every single creature on earth? Way to ruin my moment of joy, old tree. You are special, but so is everyone else. I think you misunderstood the meaning of special. I still have much to learn, yes. How old are you, old tree? And why do you know so much about death? How old am I? Ho ho ho. Let's see. I can't remember when they first put my seed inside the earth. But the first time I tasted the sun, the humans were at war. That doesn't say much. There was war too many times. Yes, I can't remember the exact time. But the people from the west had never just arrived. And the original humans from the rings were fighting against them. Oh, that was a pretty long time ago. Yes, yes it was. And to answer your question about how I know a little about death, you'll be surprised by the amount of life conceived, born, and taken away under my branches. Every time death visited me, we talked a bit. They are good friends with a lot of old trees like me. Do you have a lot of friends around your age? Not so many, sadly. Most of them don't reach even half my age. Be it because of war, or because the humans took their life away. I was one of the lucky ones, I guess. Whoa. Come on, 
I just got into this mess a few hours ago. The time flows normally here. I will just simply find a new life purpose in a few hours. Yes, your journey tonight is now done, dear. What if, even after I've returned, I still haven't found my purpose? Then make one. How? That is for you to decide. You experience nothing so many people have not gods ever had. Tell them about your story, however you like. Or do nothing. Finding a new purpose sounds fun. I don't know if I can find it in one night, but I guess the night is young. The night is older than everything we know. But yes, the night is young. You really are an endless source of wisdom. Thank you. But I believe I have served my purpose with you, Vivi. Now go. Find your purpose. Or do nothing. The world is not in your hands. But your world is in your hands. Thank you, old tree. I wish you well for the rest of the journey. There's only a short journey left for me. But thank you, dear. Okay, so I can't go back that way. It brought to your 
over to her eyes. Can you tell me what you remember? Um, sure. It was a Sunday morning. I was just eight years old. Mom made nasi gori for us. It's the only nasi gori I know. But mom was a single parent. She had to work multiple jobs. To make... To make sure your sister, I could get a proper education. Sometimes, even on the weekends. But that Sunday morning, as my gaze was on the TV screen, I could smell mom's cooking. And left my favorite anime to follow the scent. Usually, if we had to cook for ourselves. Our mom would simply buy something for us. But she didn't have to work that weekend. And she was in a really good mood. So she made us something for the three of us. Was that the first time? That's the weird thing. It wasn't. She cooked it for us quite often, despite her being busy. I don't know why that Sunday felt so special to me. It wasn't anywhere near my birthday. Or any of our birthdays. It simply had a special place in my memory. Thank you so much for this. Don't thank me yet. Why? You haven't drunk your order. Eh? Hmm. Okay then. Oh. <laughs> I wonder how he's doing now. Pardon? Ah, uh, nothing. This drink just reminded me of a dear friend of mine. Do you have any special memories with him? Yeah. It was a very difficult evening. Did something happen? Almost. Thankfully, nothing happened. But still, it was a difficult evening. And he was there to help me get through the night. What did he do? He listened. And sometimes, he encouraged me. But mostly, he listened. He made the drink for me. You know the funny thing? Let's pretend I don't. Huh. This hot green tea latte... It's just a cup of instant green tea latte. You could get it the dirt cheap at the convenience store. But it was the best green tea latte I'd ever had. I guess I understand what kind of things you serve here. You don't serve food and drink. You serve memories. Memories attached to food and drink. That's one way to put it. But yeah, I serve the best meals my customer ever had in their life. Most of the time, it's not about the food itself, but the memories attached to them. You can have the most delicious food on earth that you can't enjoy if the time, place, and people and everything else are not right. It also works the other way around. That's a really nice thing to do. I exist to serve. Um, if I may ask, please ask away. How long have you been doing this? I cannot really tell you the exact number of years, but I've been doing this since the concept of life and death on earth existed. That's long. Huh. You've got, that got me wondering. How should I ask this? Yes, you're right. Huh? What? They did ask for the apple when they visited this place. Oh my. That's one hell of a revelation. And please, stop poking inside my head. Sorry, I can't help it. Oh, well. Anyways, once again, thank you very much. I might be the luckiest person on earth to be able to experience this while I'm still alive. You're not the first one, but indeed you are one of the very lucky few. Well, I hope I didn't waste all of my luck in life by having your dish. Amen to that. Alright then, I gotta go. I'll see you again someday. Hopefully not too soon. Agreed. And I hope during your second visit, you'll have something new to eat and drink. Huh? Yeah. Maybe I should go back to my car. Gotta make sure they don't leave me inside the train again. Need a 
24 hours sleep after this. Huh? Hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? I'm sorry I didn't bring you any food with me. I'm dead, meow. Ah, good gracious. I've been through so many things this evening, and a talking cat is still a surprise for me. Get it together, human. Now pet me. I mean, <laughs> that's a cat! Oh man, so this is how cats will talk to humans, if we could understand you. Yes, and you will do what we say anyway. Damn, you're cute. That's how we survive. By stealing and being cute. <laughs> Sounds like someone I know. So, I've noticed you've been following me around, kitty. Uh, you human and your generic names. You have a name then? What should I call you? Kitty is fine. Anyway, why are you following me? I'm just curious. Curious about me? Is that simply a cat's nature? If you were just another dead person, I wouldn't care at all. But you're still alive, and I am judging you. We cats are good at judging humans. The same cannot be said about us. That's right, Mia. Judging me for by what, by the way? For something important. But before that, I'd really like to get you know you better, human. Tell me about yourself, and I'll tell you about me. Can I ask first? Sure. So, is it your ninth time here, kitty? That's not how it works. When we lose a life, we simply wake up like we were sleeping. Just like in your video games. Oh, I don't play that ga games that much, but I understand. So this is your ninth time back. Meow. We usually waste the first few of our lives when we were kittens. Learning, taking sacrifices. True. I wish I could learn how to live life with an additional eight lives like you. You have better brains than us. That to compensate for the additional lives you don't have. <laughs> I wish. Why? What do you mean, why? Why is your brain not enough for you? I... I'm not sure. Even with this brain, life is still not easy. Heck, sometimes I feel like our brains just make things harder. Nine lives sounds like a better option. Human. We were given nine lives. Because we can only learn things the hard way. Dying nine times involves a lot of pain, you know. Yeah, living once also involves a lot of pain. I guess each of us has our own unique problems. True. So you live with your family? Recently? Yes. With my mom and sister. Recently? I used to live by myself. Renting an apartment near my office. So did my sister. But then, mom's condition got a little bit worse. And someone had to stay with her. She's working. Well, we have this little convenience store at home. Mom saved some money from the years she spent working. Her dream was to build a restaurant, but that's hard. It's even harder than before nowadays, you know? So if she decided to open a small store selling general necessities and sometimes weird stuff she finds online or on her travels, nowadays she just mostly sits and chats with our customers. Sometimes we get help, usually from the local neighborhood kids, looking for extra money. But I figured having a family member around would be better. So I decided to move back. Not having to pay rent is great, but the time I spent on the road is pretty crazy too. What about your sister? She doesn't really have any options. She comes back home almost every weekend, but she still lives by herself in the central business district. Say, do you have a guardian at home? Garden at home? Guardian? We sure have. Mom loves gardening. It's not big, but it's enough. Sounds like a lovely home and family. Thank you. I'm pretty lucky to have them. And they're also lucky to have you, too, human. I'm not sure about that. I'm just a burden for them. Did they tell you that? What? No, of course not. That's a mean thing to say. Then why would you think so? Because, because it's true. Oh, did you hear them talking behind your back? I'm sorry to hear that. No, actually, you didn't accept my apology? No, I never heard them actually saying it. You're confusing me, human. If they never said that, then you're a burden. Why would you think that? <laughs> this kitty is an example of why having nine lives is better than having a better brain.
I don't really get it. But if having a human's brain won't let me think that I am the queen of the world, I don't want that. Told ya. Have you finished interviewing me yet? Yes. I think I have assisted you enough. So what's the verdict? I think you would be the perfect person. I need your help. I don't think I'm capable enough to help anyone. But shoot. I died today, you know. That for sure. Yes. I was on my way home after looking for food. But before a reckless driver crashed into me. Oh my. I'm so sorry, Kitty. I don't mind dying, really. Being a stray cat is not a life full of glory. But I left something behind. That they won't let me rest in peace. And what's that? Kittens. Oh no. Yeah. There are four of them. I went out to eat so I could nurse them. But, you know, I'm so sorry. So sorry, kitty. You don't need to feel sorry, human. But humans let this happen. We're the worst. Oh yeah, that I agree. Although humans and dogs are very racing to be the worst. Back to the topic. I hate to do this. But I like to ask for your help. Tell me what I can do. Do you want me to avenge your death to the driver who killed you? That'd be tough, but I'll try. No, silly. Is it possible? Yes. Is it possible for you to take my kittens to your home? Eh? You want me to take care of your kids? You wouldn't mind? Human. I'm dead. <laughs> and you're the only living person here. But the conductor and the chef are here. Do you think they care? They don't. Well, they probably do. But they are busy. And if they need to make sure every soul is in their jurisdiction rest in peace, they would die. Even though that concept doesn't really apply to them. Is it alright? I can't even take care of myself. Let it alone taking care of four kittens. You'll be fine. I've been watching you since you boarded this train. You don't love yourself enough. But that lack of self-love was allotted to all the others. Us cats have more senses than humans. We know. You sure? Yes. I don't know whether I can be enough for them, but I'll try. Mom would love them too. And my sister. She'll get used to them. That's the spirit. You don't need to worry. They're like three or four weeks old. They just need somebody to feed them, give them home, and love. Any tips from the mom? I love them well. That'll do. Where can I find them? Hmm. How do I explain it? Oh, I know. Focus on me. What do you... Just focus and think about what's probably inside my head. Okay? Whoa, what's that? Do you see them? Yeah, they're not too far from the station. Yes. So please, don't worry. You know you can count on me. I don't know you. I don't know, but you know, right? Yes. Thank you so much. You've done enough, Kitty. You can rest well now. Once again, thank you. Stop mentioning it. I have one more request, though. What is it? Can I stay on your lap until I arrive at my destination? Of course. Thank you, human. The pleasure is mine. Miss? Miss? Whoa! Am I dead? I sure hope not, miss. Eh? I'm back? You never left. You've been stuck inside this train for hours. What time is it? It's almost 4 a.m. The time of the first train. Thank God it's the weekend. Wait, what day is today? You're right, it's Saturday. Phew! You should thank our station head for finding you here. Oh, sure. It's you! Hello there. Oh, you've met her? Good, I have to leave you both. Got something to do. Make sure nobody is left inside the other trains, okay? We'll do, ma'am. You. You look like someone who's just seen a ghost here. Why are you here? I work here, remember? I thought you only worked in the other train. It doesn't work that way. Even with me watching both sides of the station, they still managed to sneak you in. Imagine if I only worked on one side. They? You mean your staff? No, I'm talking about death. That sneaky bastard. Oh, he was on your trip. How was your trip last night? Had a pleasant journey? Huh. I have to say life-changing experience. Good. You are very lucky, you know. For most people, that trip is a sign of a life-ending experience. You've still got your life ahead of you. Yes, I know. And I'll do my best. That's the spirit. Then don't get too comfortable staying here. I'm sure you have a promise to keep, right? Oh my! Yes! Thank you for reminding me. I'm off, Grandma. 
Live well, kid. <laughs>